Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to create an about page for a design agency, and we're going to design and prototype it to create a pretty cool interaction. Today's video is going to be part one of two, where we're going to create both of our artboards. We're going to finish our design. And then in the next video, we're going to piece those together to create a beautiful interaction. So that's today's design tutorial. Hope you guys are ready. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. And like always, if you guys want to get the completed project file that is available in the community tab for those of you who are members, if you guys want to check that out. So here in Adobe XD, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 artboard, and then I have a golden Canon grid. I'll put a link on the screen now to the video where I go over this grid, and I'll also link it down in the description if you guys like to check it out. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and make the navigation. So I'm just going to zoom in here to the top left corner and grab the type tool and just put in some gibberish. And we're going to be using a font called Libre Baskerville. I think that's how you pronounce that. It's a Google font, so it's free. Just go to fonts.google.com, I think is the URL, and you guys can download that. This is a serif font. We're gonna be using this at 30 font size and bold weight. I'm also gonna set this to the uppercase setting, and we're gonna align this to the left. I'm gonna put this in the top left corner, and for now, let's just go ahead and set the background of our website to a black color. Color code on that is just all zeros. I'm going to align this here in the golden cannon grid about 60 points from the left side of the artboard. And then I'm just going to use my content generator plugin and generate a random name for this. We'll go with a male name and that will be our logo on the right side. We'll add some links and a pair with that nice serif font. We're going to have some sans serif text, and this is going to be Monstrap. And our body size is going to be 16 points and medium weight. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to align this here on the right side, 60 points from the edge of the artboard. I'm just going to put in contact. I'm going to align this to the right. And then I'm going to create some duplicates of this 40 points from each other and we'll do about four of these and then holding shift. I'm going to grab all of them, command G to group that and we'll convert this to a stack. So now we can go ahead and change these and it's going to auto adjust for each one of these. We'll just center that to our logo and then we have our navigation. I'm going to group that, go into the layers panel and just call this nav. I wanted a slightly longer name, so I just ran that generation again on that. So now I have a different name for the logo, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same size and styling. Now that we have our navigation done, before we move on any further, I want to let you guys know about today's video sponsor, Milanote. Milanote is a bit different than traditional software. It's more like working on a wall in a creative studio. It allows you to map out your projects, gather and organize all of your inspiration in one convenient place. And it also allows you to collaborate with your colleagues or clients in real time. As a full stack designer, it's an essential part of my workflow. And this awesome tool is free. So check out the link at the top of the description. So in the center of the screen, we're going to have a large heading. And this is going to be our H1, our largest font that we're going to be using. It's going to be center aligned and it's going to be in the very center of the screen. And again, this is our Libre font, and this is at 200 points, bold weight, and we'll just put about. And then underneath this, I'm going to create a line. So I'm just going to drag one out holding shift, and we're going to make that two in size. And I'm going to set that to our color that we're going to be using, which is D1E D5D. It's a nice yellow color. And next to that, I'm going to have some text. Just going to say agency overview. We'll put that 16 points to the right of that line and set it as the same color. So we have this kind of cool overhang effect there. And I'm going to grab that line and that text and group them together. And in the layers panel, I'm going to call that tagline. At the very bottom, I'm going to have a scroll down button. This is going to be 12 points in size, so quite small. And it's going to be a medium font weight. Center that to the artboard and put that about 40 from the bottom of the artboard. And let's lower the opacity on that to 70%, just so it's not so bright. And then finally, we're going to have a rectangle. So it's going to drag one out. So it's going to be a vertical sized rectangle. We'll make this 544 by 850. That's going to be centered 
and I'm gonna send that to the back with Command Shift, left square bracket key. And for now, I'm going to set that to a lighter color black so we can see it. And we'll remove the border. This is going to have an image in it. Just grabbed a nice abstract pattern from Unsplash. And since this is a nice modern design agency, we're not gonna have a whole lot here to distract the user. So that's gonna be pretty much it for the home screen. So I'm just gonna double click on the name and just call it About Home. And then Command D to duplicate this artboard. Since we're done designing this first one, I'm gonna go and delete the grid. So I'm just gonna unlock it and delete it. For our layering, I'm gonna make sure the nav is on the top. The image is gonna be the far back and scroll down. And then About and the tagline I'm gonna group those together and just call it about group. So that looks good. And now I'm just going to delete all of our content over here except the navigation. And so when we create our interaction, we're gonna have the about scroll up and then we're gonna have the content below scroll in. So it's as if we're scrolling down. So this is gonna be the next section. On our second screen now, let's create our first heading. So I'm just gonna grab the type tool and this one's going to be 80 point font and it's gonna be regular weight. So it's not gonna be as bold as our H1 here. So this is gonna be our H2. And I'm gonna set this to our yellow color and we'll just align this here in the top left corner of the grid. I'm gonna align it on this grid line as the baseline. And then next to that, we're gonna have 01 for the first section. And that's gonna be 30 points of that Monstrat font in bold. And then I'm going to set this as a white border and remove the fill. And we'll just set this here on the grid as well, having that same baseline as the heading. Below that, I'm gonna drag out a text area that's pretty large. And this is gonna be our paragraph size font. It's gonna be 16 point. And then I'm going to set this to regular weight. And I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum. This is going to be about 30 points below that heading. And I'm going to set the width just a little bit wider than the middle of the screen here. So we'll go somewhere around there. And then below that we'll have a button. And we'll set that to 12 point font and bold. And then I'm going to set that to uppercase. We'll just give it a name. We'll call that our experience. And I'm gonna align that to this next line of the grid here. That's about 52 from the bottom of that paragraph there. And just off to the right of that, let's add a arrow icon. So I'm gonna open up Nucleo and I'm gonna use box icons. You can just Google box icons to get this set. I'm gonna drag in a nice arrow. And then we're going to flip that. And I'm gonna fill that at all black and then drop in a circle 40 by 40, remove the border, and send that behind our arrow. Hold shift to grab both of them, and center them together, and then I'm gonna group them together. And we'll put that about 16 points to the right of that text, and we'll group that together, and we can call that button group. So that's looking pretty good. Next, let's copy this heading and its number and drag it down down here to this bottom baseline. We'll set that text right on there and then change this number to 02. We'll change that to a white font and change it to our services. So as we continue scrolling, we'll go to the second section and it'll slide in and have its own paragraph and button. Next, I'm gonna create a rectangle and this is gonna be about 670 pixels wide by 947. I'm gonna put this in the bottom right corner and remove the border. Then I'm gonna drag in an image from Unsplash of some guys sitting here. And this is going to be our agency members. And then we'll drop that down to about 38% opacity. And then we can go into our layers panel and finally delete our grids since we're no longer gonna be using those. So I'll just unlock that and delete it. So now we have our hero section and then the following section. So on the website, it looks something like this. You would just scroll down to the next section. So with that, we finished our design and now we're ready to create our prototype, which we're gonna do in part two. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Thanks to Millinote for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check out their product for planning your next creative project, check out the link at the top of the description. 
Subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.